What's up guys? It's Steph. I am hanging in Orange County at my pool out here. It is beautiful. It's a nice sunny day and I wanted to share with you a story that can inspire you. Um, I want to tell you about my weight loss journey, about you know why I started losing weight, why I even talk about losing weight, and why I'm a coach on losing weight. So this all started back when I was just out of college. When I got out of college, I found myself really unhappy. And I'm going to get really vulnerable and really personal in this video with you. I hope that's okay with you. So that's all right with you. Please comment below. Let me know. Say, hey, Steph, that's cool with me. Is that all right with you? Is that all right if I get super vulnerable and super real about this? I'm going to tell you about, about the real, the real stuff right now. So yeah, I was just after college. Uh, I did what I thought I was supposed to do, got on that life path, and started working a nine to five job. And I found myself actually really, really, really unhappy. Um, weight loss came into my life. Thanks, Marie. Marie says, absolutely. Um, weight loss came into my life because I found myself super unhappy. And I felt like losing weight and taking care of my body would be the answer for me. It would help me move to that next phase of my life. It would help me move forward. It helped me get unstuck. I felt super stuck. So to explain more about how the stuckness, uh, maybe you've experienced this in your life, tell me if you have, I felt stuck all like in every way. I hated life. I hated waking up in the mornings. I wasn't inspired by my job. I wasn't inspired by my relationships. Um, my body was overweight, unhealthy, didn't feel good, felt super, um, it felt heavy. It felt really heavy in many ways. Emotionally, physically, on a soul level, it felt heavy. And yeah, it felt heavy. And so in that space, I felt like I needed, I needed a way out. I needed something to help me change. I needed to move forward. And for me, I just really felt like, you know what? If I change my body, the body's really the foundation of everything. So if I can change my body, then I can get my life sorted out, right? I can start moving forward. Um, I can start moving in the right direction and get a little bit unstuck, unfrustrated. And when I started moving in that direction, you know, it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. Uh, initially, I was like, cool, I'll eat these foods, I'll do these workouts. But the thing about it was I started actually doing it. I started like dieting and um, working out and it sucked, like it was actually horrible. And the food was terrible, I was restricting myself, I didn't feel good, I didn't feel excited about my, my meals or my diets or anything, it was awful, and I actually quit. And after I quit, I felt horrible. Have you ever done that where you, you went on a diet, um, you tried a weight loss plan, something, and you quit? And then you're like, oh my God, I'm like right back where I started, I haven't moved forward, I'm still stuck, I'm still in a space where I don't, like my life I don't like how things are going I don't like where I'm at and I did that for a little while and then I had one morning it was my breaking point like I literally was like that's freaking it that's it I'm done I'm done have you ever felt that have you ever felt like I'm done enough enough of this I got to the point I woke up and I literally started thinking oh my god like I was like so I wanted to cry I didn't want to go into work I didn't want to live my miserable life that I hated and I thought, is this how I'm going to live the next 50, 60, 70 years of my life every day? Just craving the weekend, just hating going into work on Monday, just hating my life, not living it how I want to live. So I was just in that space. Finally, I got myself together. I was like, okay, you can do this. You can go into work. You're fine. Go get dressed. So I went into my closet. I went into my closet and I went to try on my pants. No, none of my pants fit. So I was like, fine, you know what? I got those fat pants in the back, which I hated going back there to grab, but I was like, whatever. Everybody's got a pair of fat pants or the fat dress or whatever, right? Where you're like, I'm just keeping it around, but I never, I don't want to have to ever wear this. So I went all the way in the back and I got it and I was like, whatever, you know, I'm just in that space where I'm like, I'm done, whatever. I'm just gonna go to work, live my crappy life, go put on my fat pants. I put them on and they were, t they were tight. They were tight on me and I couldn't believe it. Even the fat pants were tight. I was like, I'm going to have to buy bigger pants, bigger pants than my fat pants. I remember going into work that day, miserable. I cried on the way. I remember sitting down in my chair 
and a roll of fat just hanging over my pants that I could feel like it just is imprinted in my mind because it was such like a, a realization of me like I've gotten out of control I've let my body get out of control I've let my life get out of control I don't even know what I'm doing I'm lost I need help I need to move forward I need something right have you ever been in that space have you ever felt that way about anything in your life I felt like it about everything especially my body I was miserable and that was it that was the last straw and I was like please bring me help whatever it is I need help I need guidance I need to move forward and luckily guidance was given and I started moving forward on my path um, I met an awesome mentor um, I went to the best nutrition school in the world had the best nutrition teachers uh, taught me about holistic health really whole body health. I ended up losing 30 pounds. I felt great. I was feeling successful and awesome. I was like, yes, this is great. This is, you know, this is awesome. I'm in a space where I'm actually doing it. I'm getting results. It felt freaking good. Cause I'm a person who in my life growing up, uh, I never got good grades. I never did well in school. I was pretty good at sports, but other than sports, I wasn't really good at anything. I was never great at anything. And so to actually be successful, like I lost weight, I lost 30 pounds, I was like, this is freaking great. I felt amazing. I felt like I could take over the world. It was awesome. But then after that, people were like seeing me changing and they were like, I want to know what Steph is doing. She's radiant. She's glowing. She feels great. This is awesome. This is the happiest I've ever seen her. So um, I'm also at the same time teaching my mom and dad about what I'm learning. My mom loses 30 pounds. My dad loses 30 pounds. My cat loses a little weight. People want to work with me because I'm a health coach now. So I start getting booked up with clients. Clients out the door, right? They want to know what I'm doing and how I did it. And um, I actually had a wait list. I had so many clients. So I was super successful business all of a sudden. Health is amazing. This is great. And I got overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed. I got stressed. I got so many emotional things happen over the course of that time. And I lost track of myself and my health. And I got caught up in it. I got lost in it. And I got so busy and so stressed out that somehow over the next year, it's one of those things. If you've ever gained weight, you, can, you know how this feels, right? Like, I don't know how it happened. But all of a sudden, here I am, overweight again. And I'm like, what the heck happened? I'm a health coach. What's going on here? You know, not only did I gain the 30 pounds that I lost back, but I gained another 10 on top of that. Yeah, 40 pounds. Never been that overweight in my life. Never been that unhealthy or overweight. And I'm not saying that 40 pounds is even that much. I know there's other people out here who have so much. They want to lose 100 pounds. They want to lose 200 pounds. Wherever you are on that scale, maybe you just want to lose five pounds. Wherever you are on the scale, you know how it feels when you get to too much for you. And I was at too much for me. I got to that point. I was like, what the heck happened? So I'm a coach. I'm a health coach over here trying to teach people how to coach, uh, how to lose weight. And me personally, I've gained weight, right? So I gained 40 pounds back. I was, the, I was so embarrassed. I was so... Um, I felt like a fraud and I felt like a fake and I felt like a failure, right? I felt like I failed my clients. I felt like I failed myself. I felt like I was right back where I started, not good at anything, right? So that was one of my biggest pain points. Pain points is like, I'm not good at anything. So I felt like, again, here I am, not good at anything. Gain the weight back. Here I go. Of course. Of course I gained this weight back, right? That was my mindset. I was so uh, self-defeating and so hard on myself and so mean to myself. I gained the 40 pounds back. And what I wanted to do most was hide it. I wanted to hide it from everyone because I was embarrassed. And I couldn't believe what was happening. Um, and it just, it led me to feel really lonely because I isolated myself. And... I wasn't being my true self. But you know, I was at that point where I was like, it's fine, it's cool, you know what, no big deal. I'm just gonna do what I did the last time when I lost 30 pounds. I'll just do that again, right? That worked perfectly. So I tried it and it didn't work. It didn't work. So I felt like even more of a failure at this point and I felt like I was running myself into a wall. Um, and you know, it's not just about like feeling like a failure, it's that your confidence takes a massive hit. 
So my confidence took a huge hit. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like everything was just falling apart at the seams around me. And so in that space, I'm just over here, just like, what am I gonna do? And as I said, I tried to hide it as like a fear mechanism. Not knowing that that hiding it was the true problem, which we'll talk about in a second. But at that point, I'm like, okay, I don't want anybody to know what's going on. I'm overweight. I'm embarrassed. I don't know what to do. The thing that I know how to do is not working, right? So I had helped all these people lose weight, but it wasn't working for me. So I started doing unhealthy practices, right? So I started eating less, which led to binging more, of course. I ate less, I worked out more, right? To an unhealthy amount, like, and still could not lose any weight, right? So I'm like 40 pounds heavier than I feel like I'm supposed to be. Can't get it to come off. Can't even get a pound to come off. Can't get five pounds to come off. Especially can't get 40 pounds to come off. I was so frustrated. I was so stressed out. Like this, the cortisol levels, the stress levels were through the roof for me. I didn't know what to do. So at that point, you know, I want to really talk to anybody right now who's feeling this, who's like, you know what, girl? Like, I've been trying everything. I got good intentions. I got a good heart. I'm trying really hard. I think I'm doing the right things. Why isn't it working? Because that's where I was at. I was like, why isn't it working? What am I missing? What am I missing? So I started praying for guidance, praying, praying for answers, praying for information, and was given it. I realized that the weight wasn't coming off because of resistance. And you might be saying, what does that even mean, Steph? The resistance was that I was afraid. I was afraid to show my flaws. I was afraid to be who I really was. I was afraid to show that I messed up. I was afraid to show that I don't have it all together and that I'm not perfect. And, um, you know, we're, we're raised in a society where it's, it's kind of put out there that everybody is like, who's really successful is like, great. They're just great at everything and everything works out. And I'd look at like the fitness people and the, the health people that I looked up to and I'm like, they just seem like they've got it all together. Like they never mess up. Like there's never anything wrong with them. You know, they're perfect. And so I thought I had to be perfect too because of that. And the big realization came when I realized I don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We're human beings. We are flawed. We are essentially flawed and truly the flaws are what make life worthwhile because in a flaw, you grow. When we face a challenge, when we face that resistance, that's where growth comes from and that's how we excel to our next level. I'm really passionate about seeing the greatness in every woman who comes to me and every woman I just meet and every man too for that matter but I specifically I'm working, I, I'm seeing it in these women and I'm saying, you're amazing, you're freaking great. You've got this, you can create the most amazing, majestic, magical life ever, you unicorn. <laughs> and so I started to see it in myself. I started to see that the weight was not from food or fitness. The weight was actually emotional. The weight was emotional. And that's why I couldn't lose it. There's a big difference there. So there's weight that comes off easily with food and fitness. Boom, like it did the first time for me. But here's why it came off the first time. It came off because I was in a phenomenal emotional state. Like I told you, for the first time ever, for the first time ever, I was succeeding at something. I was good at something. And because I was good at something, I felt good emotionally, I felt amazing. The second time came from stress, fear, judgment, fear of judgment from others fear of how everybody else is gonna think about me, look at me, and fear that I have to try and pretend like I've got it all together when I don't, when I was a mess. So that's where the weight was coming from. So I taught myself a process to move through that emotional state and build my body with love instead of building my body with shame, fear, hate, judgment, and frustration. So I started building my body with love and that is where the weight started to fall off effortlessly. I started sharing my story instead of hiding it and women started messaging me like crazy. They were like, Steph, 
tell me about what you're doing. This is amazing. This is different. This is cool. I want to know what you're doing. I want help with it too. And so since then, I've helped over 500 women, which I'm so excited to say. Over 500 women fall in love with their bodies and themselves and really be who they truly are instead of trying to hide it or fake it or be perfect or get it all right. Like that's where effortless, easy, fast and fun weight loss comes from. It comes from building your body with love and being who you truly are instead of trying to be somebody that everyone else wants you to be, right? So that's what, that's really when it gets super exciting and that's what worked for me. And it was like before I knew it, the 40 pounds was gone and I've maintained that 40 pound weight loss for years now. It's been easy and effortless. It's been an afterthought, like a second thought. And I got a busy lifestyle. I am a businesswoman. I have three businesses, all high, high powered businesses, things that take a lot of energy and employees and just me being my best self and I've been able to maintain it because I didn't build it the same way I, that most people build it with fear and shame and judgment and oh my god I hope this weight doesn't come back on what will happen if that does I build it with love for the first time I built my body with love and that's how you maintain sustainable weight loss with love and so it's really exciting to see all the lives that have been changed and transformed and um, and it's just been really fun by being who I authentically am and sharing with you my flaws and the things that I'm not perfect at. I'm not perfect, like um, nobody is. And so as people, we mess up. We miss a workout, we eat something unhealthy. You know, things happen, things happen, right? It's about being real about it, not beating yourself up and just being like, cool, I'm a human being and this is all gonna work out and now they got the process and the steps and and everything they need to do to actually like move through it move forward it's just freaking exciting so I wanted to share that with you guys and I want to thank you for being with you being with me today while I share that um, you know if this video inspired you in any way if it helped you in any way please leave me a comment below and let me know and if it did inspire you, feel like it could inspire someone you know, please share this video. And you know, if, it's, if you know somebody who's currently experiencing this or going through it and it could help them, share this video with them. You know, so I'll be looking for your comments. I'm so grateful you were here with me today. Thanks for allowing me to authentically share what's helped me, what's hurt me, and this process of a beautiful forward movement. Thanks for Thanks for letting me share my story and thanks for watching. I love you guys.